What's good, YouTube? Today we have some very interesting replays for you for Casual Friday with Edwin Mager's Cubics. And if we get time, we're going to show some grind games with this deck. But overall, there's some really explosive, exciting games. So let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've got the gist of it from watching and reading some cards. So this hand of the Blue Eyes player is pretty insane besides the Double Desires. So uh, there's that foolish burial of, with the Belongings that we saw back in the UA deck, and we just see this man popping off, getting a huge field. This special summons itself by revealing three cubics of different names, or cubics cards. But we see Chaos Max getting summoned back on him. So this is going really fast, and we've got the blue eyes going into Bish Vulcan. So let's go ahead and pause it and look at this card. Dragon Core, a cursed Dragon Tuner, and it's a level 2, 4, 6, 8 tuner, so it meets that requirement for Bish Vulcan. Pretty cool deck going off here. So we've got back and forth between two really cool versions of a casual Blue Eyes deck that's actually showing pretty competent right now. And uh, the Bish Vulcan effect going off to give everybody tokens. Uh, also to note, the, this did 3,000 damage to both players earlier. Uh, it does it during the end phase. And so uh, he gets attack, uh, the boost, and the win right there thanks to that earlier damage. So it can attack multiple times too. Let's let's go ahead and read through this card because it's going to be very essential to a lot of your replays. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by revealing three other cubic cards in your hand with different names and cannot be special summoned other ways. Unaffected by other monsters, activated effects with their, whose original attack are 3,000 or less. So that's a pretty big range of monsters. When this attacking card destroys a monster by battle, you can activate this card. This card can make a second attack during this battle phase. During your end phase, each player takes 3,000 damage. You can only use this effect of Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, once per turn. What a card! But uh, pretty hard condition unless you're playing a pure cubic deck. But as you saw, it just took it out with a very, very, very strong board. So, uh, here we have Dark Lords. And uh, the Dark Lords uh, goes into Desires and a Brick, but a Max Seed to protect. Cubic's not always the fastest deck, but here uh, it's going to start going off. And the Max is not going to really get any advantage. This card is actually insane too, so we're going to read this off. Uh, this is, how do we say it? Vijam, the Cubic Steed. It cannot be destroyed by battle. At the end of the damage step, if this card battled an opponent's monster, you can, so optional, place this card in your face-up spell and trap zone as a continuous spell card. Uh, you And if you do, place a cubic counter on your opponent's card. So if it battles, basically any monster with a cubic uh, counter cannot attack and their effects are negated. So in defense, this is just the ultimate wall. Uh, if this card is treated as a continuous spell and trap card by this effect, during your main phase, you can special summon it back. So yes, it's only going to fade uh, one attack if you want to get that cubic counter, but overall you can just keep it there and keep taking the battles, but not in attack mode usually, so the first one you're going to go ahead and use it. Uh, so let's continue this gameplay. And uh, we've got Upstart finally going to get into going somewhere with these Dark Lords it looks like, and Ixchel going to get him there, and ugh, call him a haunted, but he has the Superbia. And another one. So this is going to be 6,000 in the end phase. That should just be game there, right? Unless I'm missing something. Oh, you can only use this effect of Crimson Nova once per turn. So, But he's just going to do the double attacks for game instead. So the, the final effect of 3,000 you can only do. Not that broken. Uh, Fire King Cosmo up next. This should be pretty exciting. This cubic deck is going so fast. Foolish Burial Belongings. We've got a Rota that was sent for any card. That's pretty cool. And now we've specialed our 3,000 very strong boss monster alongside Duja. We haven't seen this card yet. If this card is normal or special summon, send one cubic card from your deck to the graveyard. Once per turn during either player's turn, if a monster was sent from their graveyard this turn while you control the face-up card, you can make this card gain 200 attack for each monster with a different name in your graveyard till the end of the turn. Interesting. So, uh, going off, uh, remember he's unaffected, so the Delta Shuttle did nothing. But, uh, and Slip Rider not going to pop. So I don't know quite why he did that tree. Ah, there's why. Infinity. But Infinity cannot affect him too. I think it has to be a monster with levels. Uh, oh, just attack. 3,000. Okay, not levels. And Tenkan, back at it again. Doesn't get the Dark Destroyer, but does get Dark Eclipser. Is it 3,000 or less or 3,000 or more? 3,000 or less. Wow, what a wall. So, uh... Yeah, unaffected even by Dark Destroyer. And there's that burn damage for game. 
Wow, is that either players? Uh, during each player, during your in phase, okay. Man, this deck is just popping off and against a wide range. Uh, I don't quite know what this is. It looks like some super fusion hero deck. I haven't watched this replay. So this is interesting. Ooh, Vision Hero. All right, all right, going off. Huh, that seemed pretty subpar. So this looks like kind of the more casual side of Casual Friday. But let's see how this pops off. He's got the three in hand to special summon. And that's game, right? Oh yeah, warning, okay. Dark Horizon, that seemed cool. But nonetheless, that is a beatdown if I've ever seen one, wow. So, Pendulum Magicians. These are the future Pendulum Magicians. The ones that are supposed to be really, really good. So, let's see how it deals with them. We have seen we see some more uh, Cubics here. So, we could have summoned it, but didn't. I wonder why. Ooh, and it looks like this got negated by the scale. Oops, sorry guys. Didn't mean to interrupt the replay there. Just curiosity over here so you guys can read this card of... If you want to pause and read it. And here we go. Going off. But uh, already down to 100. And it's going to do its thing. And that's game. This this card's insane. Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Deity. Alright. So now we're going to get into some grind games against a Phantom Knight player that are pretty enjoyable. These are going to take a while though. So uh, the Cubic kind of bricked here. And we're going to finally see a more of a, a slow hand. But uh, we've got... Stygian Security, which actually grabs out uh, VJM. That's kind of cool. So not the brickiest hand here. Going off with Phantom Knights. It looks like a pure Phantom Knight build using Radiance to help fuel the graveyard. Pops the back row. Gets his cards back at level 4. Makes a Key Beetle. Gonna protect Ancient Fairy here. Interesting. Ooh, rank up into Ophion, so that huge cubic's not going to be coming out easy peasy. But if he runs into the jam, it's negated, right? This may end up a real grind game. This guy's already gone through 19 cards. And uh, yeah, there's that the jam, and uh, he's going to do that 2500, but maybe regretting it. Yeah, that that just doesn't seem too optimal. Now he's got three of these to start going. This is a very interesting different side for, to all these OTKs. Now we've got the grind game. So how's he going to get through all these Vijams? Oh, well, there's one way. Gamma Seal. Gamma Seal's going to die and massive damage is going to come through. Oh, nope. He's going to get stopped. And gets a special summon Vijam. All right. So when an opponent monster declares a direct attack target, the attacking monster, your opponent uh, special summons in attack position as many monsters as possible from their hand deck and or graveyard with the same name as that monster. So... That was irrelevant to that card, and uh, I guess you get to special summon yours. And, uh, wow. That card does a lot. Don't want to interrupt the replay? You can read as we go. Twin Twisties going off, going to destroy that other Vajam. I guess that's one more answer, but look! Nothing can attack! They've all got cubic counters! That's cute! And this has been put to zero, so probably needs to defense mode that soon. Fog Blades to get rid of it finally, and now he finally gets to use this from Graveyard to special, and gets to dump the uh, Rota. I wonder if he can use multiple of those a turn. Yeah, he can! Looks like he's got uh, answers for everything going on here, and that's massive damage. Completely locked out, goes to defense mode with 7 cards left in deck. And he's just summoning now. He's he's not caring about summoning these. Oh, whoa, fusioned. 3x Crimson Nova, <laughs> the Dark Lord Cubic. What? You have to set three of those? Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's cards effects. When this card declares an attack, half your opponent's life points. Oh, wow. When this card destroys the monster by battle, you can activate this effect. You, this card can make a second attack this battle phase. If you take effect damage, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the... Oh, so this turns that guy into a 6k. Wow. Oh, but fighting back here. Dark Rebellion Dragon. Oh, into Dark Rebellion XC's Dragon. Wow, what a back and forth. Through the grind game, into explosiveness, into both players exploding. 
How's this guy gonna do anything? Or is he just showing off him getting beat? Oh, nope. So, Cubic Counter on the Dark Requiem. But we've got a Mass Change number two. Can he get to one more card? Or do these need to go Graveyard? So now his Dark Law can come online. Oh, but he's going for Dante instead. Milling three, that puts him at zero cards. I don't know about that one, Kev. Seems like a misplay. Could have gone for Dark Law. And now he's just passed and he's dead. Uh, yeah, looks like he wrecked himself. But wow, what a back and forth grind game that was, despite the misplay at the end. So, uh, yeah, we're going to end that there. The other one's about a similar grind game. I guess we can go through it really fast. We'll just let it play through. This is an insane grind game. Also, if I recall, it's actually the first replay I watched. Uh, does he need a... Uh, cannot be... Must be cubic cards. Could he not have? Well, he's getting heavily uh, hit in right now. I wonder if these are all wins or if he's going to show uh, what Phantom Knights can do here. Oh, gets the summon, gets negated. That's one way to deal with it. And Raven continuing to rack up that damage. So what do you guys think? The, the, the other replays were way better. Which one do you want to MLG? Uh, end of the month, I should be doing that if I get time. And I'll be showing, hopefully, the deck list for each player also. I don't do them with the replays because if uh, a duelist such as the Easy Duelist sends in multiple per month, I'm going to highlight their deck list at the end of the month altogether instead of giving them separate deck lists. So I'm going to highlight the players. Uh, this is all about giving credit to the players. Edwin Mager, great, great replays. These cubics are actually just pretty insane. Oh man, the Crimson Nova, the dark cubic deity. So uh, yeah, with the movie coming out, this was a pretty awesome replay overall. Uh, the last two grind games, not quite as exciting as the first one. So if you want to go back and watch those again, I completely understand versus the grind games. But pretty funny things. Uh, I don't know about the zero slash a thousand versus the emptiness. Looks like he has a way through that though. But he's just bricked throughout this point now. He's he's trying to get there and this guy is going to get there. I wonder why he keeps choosing like other paths for like, he could have attacked and summoned this, I feel. Three thousand breaksword. Twin twister. But that's a Rota from the grave, right? And he gets foolish burial belongings. Yep, his big guy is online now, and there's almost no resources for his opponents. Looks like he's just going off. Gale. And there's life points at zero. So thank you again, Edwin Mager. The the first one's way more exciting in my opinion, showing off Cubic's explosiveness, but also showing that the grind game is there. I really did enjoy this. So casual Fridays, uh, we should have a few more replays for you today. Maybe some volcanic uh, with ties to come. So uh, we'll also have that light barrier statue deck list out for you tomorrow.